feel the humidity trying to creep back in. Good evening to you. Yeah, things are beginning to subtly change since the weekend across the area. Now it wasn't a bad afternoon. You know, it's the final day in the month of July here and it can be a lot hotter out there. So enjoy this relatively tolerable humidity while it lasts. It's about to change here. So comfortable this evening. And as I mentioned, the humidity returns that will bring back the threat for downpours as well. And if everything works out, we'll time it all out again for another very nice weekend. I think we're going to get another big break from the humidity after it comes back here in the next couple of days. Here's a look outside right now this evening. Most of us generally hovering in the mid 80s. As I mentioned, it could be a lot hotter out there. Humidity is relatively low, so it's going to be a pretty comfortable evening. I don't think you'll have much to worry about if you're doing anything outdoors. Temperatures will stay in the 80s through about 8 or 9 o'clock and eventually fall back into the 70s. So dew points across the Ohio Valley. That's always a good measure of humidity or how it feels outside and right now they're beginning to creep their way back up through the 60s. So over the weekend we were way down here in the pleasant range with overnight lows even down into the 50s, but now we're beginning to see it creep back up. I'd call it tolerable right now tomorrow and then into Wednesday. It's going to start to get muggy all over again and yeah, you're going to start to sweat a lot more too. Right now it looks like the middle of the week Wednesday and Thursday probably going to be the two most uncomfortable days of the week. As we get into late Friday, it's going to start to feel very nice again heading into the weekend. So right now 84 at the airport. Part of this change. Notice the winds. They're switching around to the south now, and that's going to help to bring back in some of the more humid conditions. High pressure is going to drift overhead tonight, going to keep us relatively quiet and even for the most part tomorrow. However, as that humidity starts to creep back up on Tuesday, a few pop up downpours are certainly possible, but I don't think the coverage is going to be that great. So it's quiet overnight. We have a few clouds coming through during the day tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine. Notice in the afternoon and evening. We'll have a few stray showers try to fire up. Those will go away pretty quickly once the sun sets tomorrow. And then as we head into Wednesday, I think a good coverage of showers and thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon and evening across the area. Most of us will probably end up seeing some wet weather on Wednesday and then maybe a little bit of a lull on Thursday before that front comes in on Friday. So quick check of the tropics here. We've got what's left of Emily, a tropical depression over Florida tonight. It is going to move back over the waters of the Atlantic, likely restrengthened to a tropical storm. But notice the track, though, keeps it well off the East Coast and more of a fish storm than anything else. So mostly clear tonight, comfortable again, 65 the overnight low. And then for tomorrow, expect warm sun to give way to straight thunderstorms in the afternoon, 85 for your high. Here's your day planner, 67 as you walk out the door in the morning by lunchtime, close to 80 and then in the low 80s by tomorrow afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. There's your humidity and pop up storms for the middle of the week. Right now, if everything times out, it looks like drier weather arrives late Friday afternoon. And basically we have a repeat of this past weekend. So if you you thought last weekend's weather was delightful. I think you'll enjoy this upcoming weekend. Did you think it was delightful? <laughs> I did think it yeah. was delightful.